Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. Uh, this aquarium right here is a Aquarius who sent this to me from Italy. And uh, this was a few years ago. But uh, what I want to do is do a video on some hobbyists that have sent me their photos of their tank. This is the only photo I have of this particular hobbyist, but I thought I would read the information that he gave me um, in a letter. Uh, Craig, and he's from Manchester, United Kingdom. And uh, I thought I would read you the email he sent me. And this is the only picture he sent me of his anoxic filter that he is using. And uh, he says, hi, Kevin. Long time since we were last in contact. Hope things are good with you. Now, I talk to people all over the world. Trust me, I try to give some time out to people. When they contact me, I call them up or they call me. So I do have hands on with a lot of hobbyists all over the entire world that I do talk to. Um, he goes on, the anoxic filter in my pond is now over three years old. I haven't lost a single fish since its installation. I used to lose at least two every spring. Anyhow, I came across a YouTube video tonight from Sean in Australia attempting to build an anoxic filter for his aquaria. And I noticed that you added some links in the comment page. Can I assume he is in touch with you? Um, yes, Sean and I have been in touch. He is from uh, uh, Australia. And uh, he also has some YouTube videos of, of making BCB baskets for his uh, discus aquariums. Two years ago, I built a self-contained miniature anoxic filter, which takes up about one foot of my six-foot tank. See photo. That would be the photo that you're looking at. I removed all the physical filter medium from my fluvo and just left the medium balls and then placed a sock of charcoal at the tank filter return. With some, with some skepticism, I let the filter take its course as I only had one 6-inch catfish, which I adopted with the new tank. Two years later, he is still with me. Six weeks ago, I purchased some Maui cichlids, nine of various sizes, to really test the filter. Bit of an expensive experiment, but full of confidence and will be uh, upping my stocking level in the near future. The main reason I'm contacting is to give you some feedback on my own findings. Okay, so... Currently, ammonia levels are zero, nitrate levels are zero, nitrate levels are zero. Temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which was nice that he gave me Fahrenheit instead of Celsius because he's in the United Kingdom. pH is 8.5. Uh, he has a little footnote saying, I actually gave up testing on the water a while back. This is what happens. People start using the anoxic filter and their parameters of their parameters of their water are so good in their ponds or tanks, they finally just give up testing. There, there's no reason. Okay, uh, number two, I haven't done a single water change in 18 months. Just top up due to evaporation. Uh, that's why I thought I would show you this, because 18 months without doing a water change in an aquarium, that's, uh, to me, that's pretty amazing. But you have to understand this is why I made the anoxic filter. I know there's going to be people who are going to complain and say, oh, he should be doing this. He, people, you got to remember, I deal with people all over the world. Water comes at a premium for some people. They got to pay a lot for it. You can't tell them not to have fish. So what I do is I, I came up with the anoxic filter and I try to work with people who can't do water changes like we can in the U.S. Heck, in the U.S., we could do we could do a water change every single day. And if you don't mind paying the, the price for the water, nobody cares. But I do understand in other countries, water comes at a premium. It may be too expensive, 
or it may be uh, it's not that readily available to keep changing it and this happens a lot in Africa so just try to understand when somebody says that don't beat them up or something I, I don't you just have to work around what they're doing because of the fact this is how it is and um, I'm not one of those youtubers who are saying you have to do it my way or it's the highway now you got to work around the people and this is a hobby so everyone wants to have fun with it and you can't deny people to have fish just like you can't deny people to have birds and, and aardvarks and rhinoceroses and dogs and cats okay number three water is crystal clear polished and has no odor all of my fish waste appears to decompose or dissolve just disappears leaving the coral sand pristine Apparently, he has coral sand in his aquarium. From the above observations, I can say with no uncertainty that my ecosystem is fully functional and the need for a dreaded partial water change and tank clean every week or so has been eliminated completely. I have to agree on him on that. I, I would do a water change no more than once a month. Uh, I just tested my phosphates. They're not as good as I want. They're about 2.5. The anoxy filter takes care of phosphates, but I don't really think myself from the test I have taken with phosphates brings phosphates right down to zero. I think if you use an anoxic filter, okay, people, that means if you use a phosphate remover that you should be able to bring them down to 0.05. The anoxy filter will bring it down so far, and then if you use a phosphate remover, if you're having an algae problem, put one in there, and I'm going to do that with my uh, my ADA canister filter. I'm going to put a phosphate remover in there. See if I can't bring that down to 0 0.05 and eliminate all algae 100% because phosphates are the limiting factor. You can get nitrates down to zero, and you'll still have algae, and you'll be wondering, well, what's going on with my tank? I still have algae. Because you could have phosphates. And so now that makes, uh, explains a lot, right? You look at the tank, you see some algae. Oh, okay. Phosphates of even 2.5, that's low, but not low enough. We want to get them down to 0 0.05. So I'll, I'll use a phosphate remover to help the BCB basket. And um, let's see. Let's see. Please send me your thoughts on this as your experience far exceeds mine. These photographs are from a person called uh, Oswaddle. Oswaddle. He is from a, another country. Uh, as you can see, he likes his discus. And a anoxy filter seems to have put people in a better mood to have discus and make them live better. There's a lot of information which he has given me about his particular aquarium. But one thing that he has done is he's shown me, if you see on the right side, that's his anoxic uh, filtration system for his aquarium. And I guess he used another aquarium to build that, but did all his own piping all his own work so he can keep his discus healthy and apparently in the past this was not so and as you can see he does use a uh, substrate in his aquarium which a lot of discus hobbyists seem to be scared of using but apparently now since he's built the anoxic filter he seems a little more confident. But anyway, this is his anoxic filter. And as you can see, he made it out of egg crate or what they call parabolic louvers that you can buy at any hardware store and uses that plastic mesh to keep it in. Clean out the kitty litter and put a pump in there. 
and that's basically it that is being used for his aquarium I thought I would show you that but this is a another successful hobbyist that uses an anoxic filter and I thought I would show you that uh, he sent me a a lot more photographs and I'll keep you more up to date on what he's done but it seems like um, people are very proud now they use the system and they get very proud of their aquariums after it breaks in and everything and uh, I'm glad to hear that and some people say well you know why do you do it why, why do you waste your time and sometimes the pleasure isn't in uh, a denomination amount a money amount sometimes the pleasure is just seeing a hobbyist send you an email with photos of how proud and happy they are that they're no longer losing fish and this is why I do it this is the whole reason why I do it I don't do it because I'm going to make a lot of money. I never made anything off of the anoxic filter, even though there's several patents I had to have on it and everything else. Never made a dime off of it. Gave it to the hobbyists for free because I felt it was better to give it for free. And if people could save the lives of their aquarium animals, that was good enough for me. Because there's a lot of stuff out there that is a little miss you know deceiving and another thing i want to bring up watch some videos of like planted aquariums and i've noticed this i must have watched over 100 videos look at how they barely have any fish in their aquariums and they say oh i have no nitrates i have no phosphates well you have no fish and when you have fish you're going to have phosphates and nitrates once you add fish and a lot of the foods have nitrates and phosphates so two things I'm going to do is I'm going to start buying food that doesn't have any phosphates. Uh, see how that works. And I am also going to get a, a, a phosphate. I have them coming in and I'll let you know because like I said, my phosphates are about uh, between 2 to 2.5. Very hard to read these test kits. I think I'm going to have to get a HANA phosphate test kit to really test my phosphates and give you a clear view of how well the phosphates are coming down but you know what if you think about it, 2.5 that that's that's really not bad and i haven't done i did a water change uh, over a week ago so that's that's not really too bad of uh the phosphates i'm reading and that's after feeding my fish so we'll see I'll, I'll look to see if that keeps going up or does it stabilize and I'll keep you uh, intact with that with the phosphates. But I figured maybe a little bit of something to help the phosphates. Maybe we can bring them down to 0 0.05. But that's after feeding the fish with nitrogen and phosphates. And I have zero nitrogen, but uh, the phosphates are 2, 2.5. I'll let you know more about that once I get a more accurate test kit. I am using a phosphate test kit, though, from uh, Seachem, which is pretty accurate. But boy, are the colors real hard to tell. They are. And uh, I don't know. A lot of people have trouble with them. So I will try a better test kit and keep you up to date. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Until next time. And also, uh, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and thank you for watching.